Hello my soccer universe, let's wrap up the international break and let's see where things are currently. A little bit projections in there, no probabilities, but you know how I th think things are going, including a prediction of how the playoff is going. I do it similar as I did it uh, at the end of the last international break, where we went group by group, gave you the current CCC situation, tell you how I think it's going how this plays into the whole uh, playoff system with the Nations League ranking and then yeah, how as it stands right now and how I see it that the playoff pairings will be determined. It's also the last time that now you will see the nice jerseys until next international break of the, my European jerseys there. Wearing my black Netherlands jersey, the only weight jersey. I really would like to have the 2006 one. That was with the Dutch flag over there. But speaking of wanting jerseys, I went through those and given my projections, I think I have of 16 nations, I think only 12 of which realistic will make it. So I will have only 50% of the nations present at the Euros, which is something I don't quite like. And I know already the next nation that I really would like to have. Got a lot of views from Ukraine and I have been looking at Ukraine jerseys for quite a while and currently I'm looking uh, the two that I can get for relatively cheap meaning 20 euros or less are the 98 Puma one which Austria had in 97 a similar uh, style and the 2006 one with Shevchenko back there I have to say I'm leaning to the Shevchenko one, although I think a nicer jersey is the 98 one. Uh, I also really like the 2012 ones, um, especially the away jersey, but it's what it is. But yeah, that's where my mind is currently at. But you know, I'm probably ahead of the Euros, I will get one or the other nation to kind of fill in. Uh, you know, I don't want necessarily need of every nation, but of most. I mean, I'm also thinking Finland just because I like Finland. Some of my favorite bands probably are from there. So yeah, that's how it goes. But enough of me and jerseys. Uh, let's talk how the qualification is projected to go, at least of how I see it. Again, we'll start out here. Uh, you see the Nations League standing, uh, League A, B, C, D. New this time is that already qualified teams are bolded. So we see Belgium is qualified, Spain, Italy, Poland, Ukraine, and Russia. Uh, and you can already mentally make that that um, whenever you take those out, especially Ukraine and Russia, this would mean that uh, Austria for sure has a playoff spot, but we'll see anyway. All the teams that are 32 or above more or less have a playoff spot guaranteed. That's the way the system works. So um, this all I we have one gar guaranteed and not. It's kind of a little bit. Yeah, you need to have League D teams getting up in there, which is really not ha happening. Or that a League C team from the bottom uh, uh, below 30, 32 gets in. Then and only then there will be a wrench in the whole thing. But yeah, let's start in. Group A, where England leads the group with 15 points out of 6 games. They lost once. The Czechs are 3 points behind. And then the Kosovo has 11. Uh, there is the Czech Republic against Kosovo. That will be the big clash. So uh, England is safe. And I think the Czechs are also. Kosovo is a big story. I would actually favor them coming out of League uh, D. But I think the Czechs will just about make that one. So I think England and the Czech Republic will qualify from Group A. Uh, group B, we have Ukraine qualified and given that Portugal plays only Luxembourg and uh, who else is in that group? Uh, some other small team. They have to make it. There is there is no other uh, way to me. So I think uh, Port Portugal will get over it. Also, Serbia is playing at home to Ukraine. Yes, might not be the biggest thing. Uh, I just, yeah, Lithuania. Port Portugal plays Lithuania and Luxembourg. I really don't see Serbia catching Port Portugal, especially since Portugal won in Serbia. Um, I don't think it's going to happen. So Ukraine and Portugal um, will make it out of that group. In Group C, yes, 
Northern Ireland needs to win against the Dutch, otherwise they have no chance if uh, Germany at the same time wins as well against Belarus, which is also more than expected. So, realistically, Netherlands and Germany will make it out of this group. I, and even in that order, I don't see anything else happening there. Group D is a lot more open and Ireland is still in first place. That's why Ireland is still one ahead of Switzerland here up there. I don't have a Denmark jersey. That's also something. Should have a Denmark jersey, to be honest. Same thing goes for Norway, but Denmark probably even more. Um, however, Denmark and Switzerland have a game in hand um, against inferior opposition. So, um, Gibraltar and Georgia. So, they will overtake Ireland ahead of the last round. And then Ireland has a home game against Denmark that they have to win. Don't quite see it. Don't quite see it. So it's uh, Switzerland and Denmark. Although, just for argument's sake, it would have been interesting to put Ireland in there. But then basically, you know, wherever you see... It's, it, it would be most in, interesting to see Switzerland not make, make it because Ireland and Denmark, you can actually uh, almost switch around in what's about to follow. Group E, still wide open, especially since Croatia and Hungary have a game more than Slovakia and Wales. I just think that Croatia will make the points and Wales might fall short, although they, because they didn't make enough points now. Uh, I don't give Hungary much chance. I actually think it will be Croatia and Slovakia. I give Wales a better chance than Hungary, to be honest with you. So uh, those two qualify from there. From Group F, we have already Spain qualified. And yes, Romania plays at home to Sweden. This is a huge matchup. I just think that Sweden is way too professional to not uh, qualify. I see Sweden getting a result there. And then even, Nor and even if Norway has a slim chance, I don't think Norway will get into it. Spain and Sweden from that group. Uh, group G, similarly. Yes, we have in theory five teams can still make it. However, realistically, Poland is already through. Austria needs a point against Northern Macedonia. That's gonna happen. Uh, even then, they have an away game to, uh, in Latvia, and Latvia at the moment is really not, not a good team. They will get the necessary points there. Also, have, have in mind that the head to head uh, between Austria and uh, Northern Macedonia will in all likelihood go to Austria. So I think they won 4-1 um, in Skopje. So it is almost a certainty that Austria will qualify. So Poland and Austria out of that group. Group H, Iceland, minimum chance. Many minimum chance they really need to hope uh, for a slight miracle. They first of all, need to beat Turkey in Turkey before we can talk anything. I think France relatively safe through um, is it a point? They yeah, they probably need a point, and then that's that. So um, yeah, depends on Turkey, Iceland. But since you know France is through, I actually think that France might even win the group. And I, as much as I would love for Iceland to quali qualify, I think it's Turkey. And they, Turkey would deserve it. They have really shown some spirited performances. So it's not that I I will be so super sad. It's just the Iceland story, but yeah, uh, France and Turkey out of that group. Belgium, Russia already through, don't need to talk much about that. And then Italy is a similar, is already through, and then with Finland, it's a similar situation as we had with Austria before, just with less points. Uh, they are through, so um, they just need a point out of the last game, and then we'll have Finland in there. Okay. So here we have the qualified team, and our is you know everything is um, grayed out. Uh, who is already taken? So we see in League A we only have Iceland that has not qualified. In League B it's Bosnia, Wales, Ireland, and Northern Ireland. And in League C we have a whole lot more teams. Only Finland is most likely quali qualifying for the end. League D no one qualifies. So what we need to do now, I explain it once again. We fill in now the playoff spots that are below the first and second uh, part there. We fill in uh, with the teams in the order, and not only for league. So league, the League A playoff, since there's only Iceland, we only fill Iceland in the A1 spot. League B, we have four teams. So Bosnia goes in B1, um, Wales goes in B2, 
Ireland goes in B3, Northern Ireland goes in B4, and then same thing for League C's and D's, and we'll get the following uh, pairings. We see already that the League B, League C, and League D playoffs are already entirely filled. Um, quite interesting match matchups, especially Wales Ireland looks to be very intriguing. I also find in League D, Northern Macedonia and the Kosovo. That's not a boring matchup. Um, and League C, I mean Serbia. Scotland, Bulgaria, and Norway, uh, Ser Serbia. It's there's quite some stuff in there. Maybe the one from Bosnia, Northern Ireland. Uh, that's probably the clearer, clearest one because we know how they were from the Nations League. But many things change. Bosnia is also a team that no one can really identify uh, how they should be. And then. Uh, what we need to do next is we need to now fill in the remaining three slots for Iceland where we just we have to blank everyone out and now uh, who is left and who is left is our three teams from League C Israel, Hungary and Romania and those go in the final slot here so we see that now the League A playoffs are Iceland against Romania and Israel against Hung Hungary which you see that it's not a perfect system because I would say that Romania of the League C teams is probably the strongest one, but that's how the Nations League ended. So we would have Iceland, Romania, Israel, Hungary. Given what I saw from Israel, I would even favor Hung Hungary there and then Iceland, Hungary, and probably Iceland is going to make that one, but we'll see. So I would think from not only the first and second, um, I would say Iceland makes it out of the League A playoffs, League B playoffs, I actually would probably say Wales, but I think this is very open. Bosnia probably has the most talent overall, but I think that Wales is the better team. League C, I don't see anything but Serbia in there, to be honest. Scotland is horrible, Bulgaria is hor horrible, Norway and Serbia are two decent teams, but I think Serbia is the stronger one. And from what I have seen, I would actually say that uh, Kosovo makes it out of League D, and that would be actually the big sensation um, in qualifying. But let's see how it will go. We have not even talked about the groups and so on, uh, and but we'll come to that. Um, when we actually know a little bit more about qualified teams when the draw nears. Anyway, let me know if you agree with how I think the groups are going. I mean, the picture is quite clear, I have to say. There are only a few spots where you might argue. I am thinking like Denmark or Ireland, Slovakia, Hungary, Wales is one, Sweden, Romania. I think those are the ones that we can really argue. Uh, maybe Czech Republic, Kosovo, but I, as I said, Overall, it's pretty clear how things are going as for now. So, yeah, we can make already a very good projection. Anyway, I still want to hear from you what you think about my projections, whether you agree or disagree with me. Drop a comment below. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like this video. And subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also consider subscribing to my channel to keep you updated with all things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful day. Bye.